So you're thinking about selling insurance part-time and you'd like to get some advice on how to do it successfully. Greetings and salutations. This is David DuFord, owner of DeFord Insurance Group, where I train and recruit agents nationally to sell things like final expense, Medicare, and annuities, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. Thank you so much for watching and do make sure you subscribe and like this video if you in fact like the content. So the purpose of this video is really to talk to you about how to actually make a successful run selling any kind of insurance on a part-time basis. What I'm going to do today is kind of give you my history having started in this business twice actually on a part-time basis and kind of convey to you my experiences as well as some suggestions and training other agents in my agency who also started part-time on how to maximize your opportunity no matter what kind of insurance product you're selling to successfully sell on a part-time basis. So let's get started. So my first bit of advice is to understand that insurance sales part-time is a business and not a hobby. And what I mean by that is sometimes some agents come into this business thinking that part-time means casual time. It doesn't mean taking the business as seriously as somebody as who would be on a full-time basis. This is not the case. You should not be taking this business uh, with a lack of uh, seriousness, even though you're on a part-time basis. You are running a business, albeit on a part-time basis. You should take it just as serious as somebody who's investing their life savings who are sacrificing other opportunities for starting a full-time business. And even though you're on a restricted schedule, taking this seriously as a business is critical for your success. You cannot be successful even on a part-time basis doing this on a casual type of note. So what are some elements of taking this serious versus not being serious? So the first thing is to set a schedule and stick to it. That means if you have time in the morning, or if you have time in the afternoon or evenings or on the weekends that you always consistently execute going out and working your insurance business each and every week on a consistent and set basis. Number two, you make sure you're consistently receiving leads on a weekly basis or participating in some kind of prospecting activity because it's all for naught, right? If you don't have anybody to talk to, you're not in business just because you have a license. You're in business because you have a strategy you have a system to follow, you have leads or you have prospecting to get you in front of interested prospects who want what you sell. So you have to still do this just as much on a regular consistent basis as a full-time insurance agent, even though you might not buy as much leads. But the point here to take away from all of this, guys, is that you, this is a business part-time, although you still have to take it seriously, you still have to be consistent, you still have to show up and follow through like you would if you were full-time. Number two, guys, is look, if you're gonna do this business part-time, just go ahead and accept the fact that you're gonna sacrifice a lot, a lot of other activities you would have normally done now that the business of doing this part-time is a serious part of your life. So what I mean, for example, is this. When I first started in the business, I started part-time. I had a personal training business that I was doing. I had walked back the hours a little bit, but to give me enough time to go run a part-time basis selling what we call final expense life insurance. I worked all day, all night on the days that I could. I worked on weekends, so Saturdays specifically, I wouldn't work Sundays. But my life was dedicated to this part-time business, to the free time that I would have for other things. Now, I eventually failed the business. You know, check out some of my other videos and you'll see my failure talk and how I got back in the business. And the second time I got back in, it was on a part-time basis as well. And my schedule was even more cramped. I had a full-time sales position with a corporate uh, uh, sales organization. And that left me only time in the evenings and on Saturdays to run. And all that year that I ran on a part-time basis, my wife, my kids can tell you, I wasn't around. I was working till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night during the week. I didn't stay home at all for that first year or so on Saturdays, really for a couple of years, uh, part-time, then full-time, because I knew that I had to commit myself to the max in order to give myself, now what I'm experiencing in my, right now at the filming of this, my 10th year in the business, which is an incredible lifestyle, which is freedom from all the things that you may hate about working for somebody else. And so I had to sacrifice the things, the, the immediate gratification for the long-term hope the opportunity that I would get something greater. And I can tell you on the flip side, it absolutely turned out in my favor. And this is something I think that the sooner you accept this, the better off you're gonna be. Yes, get used to not being able to participate in the things that are important to you, but are leisurely, that aren't necessarily required. 
Uh, for example, I quit doing jujitsu, which is something I absolutely love, for many years, especially on a part-time basis, to get up and running. And, and had I had held on to that, that would have taken away from all the important work and experience I developed. You might have to stay away and not go to as many kids' events or spend as much time with your wife or your spouse. Look, that's just how this is going to be. I'm not saying that this is the best thing in life and that this is the perfect setup and, and, and that you, know, you can get everything that you want to. No, you have to pay the price to be successful. And in the situation you're in right now, guess what? You don't have the time and you are new, so you need to pay the price now for exponential returns later. And again, the point of this all is just accept it because you're gonna have to anyway if you wanna be successful. Last point of advice here is please save your money. Don't spend it. Here's a problem most of us had when we started off part-time. Didn't have a lot of money. We kind of keep our full-time job because it makes us kind of a guaranteed income. There's a sense of security with it that if we had lost that job, right, and we went full-time in insurance sales, we would have less security. So part of the jump to going from part-time to full-time is making sure that your money, your bankroll, the, the amount of cash you have on hand is sufficiently high enough that when you go into a straight commission job or business like what we do on a full-time basis, you're absolutely prepared for anything that's thrown at you. So this is why I advise guys, don't spend your money that you're making on your sales. Pull, put it away, pack it away. Try not to touch it. Let it accumulate over six months, over 12 months, however long it takes you before you go full time. And I'm going to promise you that, yes, you're going to, again, sacrifice in a different way by doing this. But when you go full time into the business at some point in the future and you've got this large bankroll of money, man, I can't tell you how much stress this takes off your day to day and week to week life selling insurance. Because here's the truth, guys. We know that nothing is guaranteed. You're going to have some days where you do everything right and you still don't make money, you don't make a, a sale, and, and some days are great. And this is how this business is. And the more money you have on hand to dip into, if you have a bad week or a bad month even, the likelihood is very high that you're not gonna stress out, lose your mind, and think about contemplating going back into something like working for somebody that you don't like, or you don't wanna work for, or someone else you're making rich, and losing out of this opportunity. So save your money, it's really well worth it. The more you have when you go solo, the easier time you're gonna have being full time and you're gonna be able to absorb the frustrations every single agent on the face of the planet experiences. So guys, in conclusion, part-time insurance sales is absolutely workable. I've proven that twice. The first time as I got started and the second time after I failed the first time, you can absolutely do this business part-time. I invite agents who are interested in selling insurance to consider my agency and working on a part-time basis. I absolutely support it. Yes, if you're gonna do part-time, you have to buy leads. Yes, if you're gonna do part-time insurance sales, you've gotta to commit to a schedule just like we've described. But if you think this is something you can adhere to, if you wanna coach, a trainer, a system, a marketing strategy to tap into. DeFord Insurance Group is your agency. Here's what you need to do to learn more. Simply click the links above or below. It's going to take you to my webpage where you can learn more if my agency is a good fit for what you are looking for in an insurance agency. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments. Certainly like and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.